Hi everybody! Today we're going to go over one of our favorite tools in the Google Admin Console, which are the Chrome Management Tools. So within the Admin Console, we have features to directly control the Chrome browser, including the ability to pre-install apps and extensions from the Chrome Web Store, along with being able to block certain apps or extensions, or even all apps and extensions if that's what you're looking for. So to do this, head to your Admin Console. Click on the App Launcher and then choose the Admin Console to open it. From the console, click on the Apps icon and then choose Additional Google Services. You can see, even from this first screen, that the status of My Chrome Management is that it is on for everyone. Something to just keep in mind is that in order to enable certain apps and extensions, you will need to make sure that the Chrome Web Store is on for everyone as well. But let's go into Chrome Management and check that out. Let's go into User Settings. So one of the great features here is the ability to set these policies at the domain level or at the org unit level. So if I had different organizational units, I could go into my different org units and set different policies and pre-install different sets of apps for my specific sets of users. I'm just going to do this at the domain level today, however. So if we scroll down to the Allowed Apps and Extensions, you will see that it's set to allow all apps and extensions except the ones that I block by default. Now on the other hand, you could set this to block all apps and extensions except the ones that I allow. This would allow you to give your users some pre-installed apps and extensions while not allowing them to install any others. So if you have some pretty strict policies at your organization and you don't want your users installing anything other than exactly what you want them to, this is the setting that I recommend. So I'm going to go with that option. Then I'm going to click Manage Pre-installed Apps. From here you can go into the Chrome Web Store and decide what apps you want. You may also have domain apps that you have created for the Chrome browser yourself. Or you can look into business apps and business extension sections. So if we open these up, you'll see a list of certain apps that Google has defined as useful for business customers. I can't be certain, but you may get different suggestions here if you're a Google Apps for Education user instead of a business user. Now, some of these are pretty important, so I'm going to add some of them, including Gmail, Drive, Calendar, Gmail Offline, and this Lucid Chart tool, which is a great charting and diagramming tool. Once that's done, I'll click Save, and then go back in here and check out some of the business extensions. Now, obviously, these are a little different. These tools will appear in the top of the browser rather than in the Apps Launcher. So one of my favorite is this Save to Google Drive extension, which allows you to save something directly to your Drive account without having to move it through local storage first. Once you're done, click Save, and then head down to this Pinned Apps and Extensions section. Here I can choose which apps or extensions I want to pin to the Chrome Launcher after they're installed. I'll click Manage Pinned Apps, and then I'm just going to select all of the items that I chose earlier. I'm going to save those, and then I'll go down to the bottom and save my changes. So that's how you manage Chrome apps and extensions for your organization. It's just a really easy tool to encourage adoption of the great features in the Chrome browser, along with providing some great functionality for your organization. If you have any questions about anything we covered in this video, please just leave a comment under the video. Thanks so much for watching. And have a great day.